Let's take a look and see how we can change from the access point to the bridge. We are on an ingenious ENS620, and this is a Wave 2 device. So let's go from the device status over to network and wireless. Now we have a couple of different options. We have 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, but they both are going to act the same way. So it doesn't matter how we change these as far as our discussion goes. So if we hit the drop down list on 2.4 gigahertz, and the drop down list on 5 gigahertz, we see the same options. All right, so by default, this is going to be an access point, which means that we're going to be able to connect wireless devices such as phones and tablets and computers to our access point and then out to the internet. We also have the option for a client bridge. So a client bridge allows us to have two different devices, for example, on two different buildings. And the, when it's in bridge mode, you're no longer going to be able to connect to the access point from a host device such as a phone or tablet. You're only going to be able to connect the one access point to the other. And this keeps us from having to create a fiber connection between the two buildings or even an Ethernet connection between two closer buildings. We can just do this wirelessly by putting the devices onto a rooftop and just pointing them towards each other. Since this is line of sight, you need to make sure that they can see each other and there's no trees or other lines in the way. Now we also have the option for WDS access point, WDS bridge, and WDS station. So the difference between access point, bridge, and then adding WDS in front of it is that you're now able to send twice as many packets as you can without WDS. WDS stands for Wireless Distribution System. And it just basically allows more packets because it uses all of the MAC address and gives more airtime when you go ahead and choose that over just a plain access point. So go ahead and change this to WDS access point going forward or bridge or station. Now station is a particular option in the Ingenious family and it's very similar to WDS bridge. It uses the same type of technology. It allows you to connect two different devices uh, say on two different buildings rather than connecting uh, hosts such as phones and tablets to those devices. There's one additional difference between a bridge and a station. The WDS station basically becomes the central focal point for other access points to connect to it. So it is the management access point or, or bridge in this particular case between other devices. So if you need a centralized location, then this is the way to do it. Now, of course, all your other devices need to be able to communicate with the WDS station. So they either have to have line of sight or an ethernet connection back to your station. So only use that if you need a centralized type of location for your other bridges or access points. So that are that that is the different operations modes that come with an ingenious Wave 2 wireless access point.